so today I am unboxing another mystery Disney package. However, I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. I already opened this one. I, I did it off camera and I know I shouldn't have and a lot of you are probably hating my guts right now because you want to see my true honest reaction to this mystery package. But I was having a really, really, really bad day and this came in the mail and I was just excited to kind of have something to kind of turn my day around and I unboxed it just off camera by myself and it... It put a smile on my face when I was having a very stressful, crazy, hectic, just horrible day. So I hope you guys aren't too mad at me for opening it already off camera. If that offends you guys or that makes you angry, I'm sorry, but I'd rather be truthful and honest with you than trying to fake my reactions through a whole entire video. So just know that I did already open everything, but I will kind of tell you guys uh, what I like, what I don't like, things like that. But here's a little spoiler. I like everything! This is from a company run by someone who contacted me and asked if they could send me one of their mystery packages. It is from Tokyo Kawaii Club and it is ran by someone who actually lives in Japan and visits Tokyo Disney all the time, like Tokyo Disney Sea, Disneyland in Tokyo, all that kinds of stuff. And so I was very interested, intrigued, and excited when they messaged me and asked if I would be willing to get one of their packages and open it up on camera for you guys. And again, I'm sorry, I opened it on camera. I already messaged the owner and was like, I'm sorry, I opened it so you can't see my true reaction. But don't worry, I love everything. Um, he was also kind enough to supply me with a discount code for you guys. I will post the link in the description box below where you can get one of these packages yourself. Uh, just a couple notes real quick though. Um, Number one is that he curates the mailers by himself so that no two packages are the same. So you never get the exact same items all together as someone else does, which I think is really, really cool. And it's always usually a mystery. The only reason that mine kind of has my favorite characters in it is because he asked me, what are your favorite characters? What do you like? I can keep an eye out for you. So I got mine kind of a little bit more personalized than someone who is typically purchasing off of his site or ordering one off of his site. But usually it's a little mystery package and you don't really know what's inside. I think there's a couple different ones that he offers. One is like a Disney one and then there's also just like kind of a random one I think. I could be wrong. Check the site just to make sure. But he did supply me with this a coupon code right here. I'll put it on the screen. If you use this coupon code when ordering from the site you can get five dollars off your first purchase which is really cool. I love saving you guys money. This video is not sponsored. They're not paying me to talk to you guys about this at all. Just simply sent me a package and wanted me to share it with you guys so you can see what there is that you could potentially get yourself. So there are some stickers in here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. These are the Tokyo Kawaii Club logos. Very cute. I think that's a little corgi dog. Very cute. They're also on Instagram. I'll put the Instagram and the shop website and everything like that in the description box. So you guys are more than welcome to go research and look up and see all the different boxes or options that you can get yourself. Then there are some of these Disney Store gold Mickey head stickers that are very cute. I want so badly to visit Japan, but just like financially, I'm not in that state of where I can afford to go just yet and also it's kind of like a huge trip and it kind of makes me a little bit nervous and uneasy thinking about traveling outside of the country because I've never done so before. So being able to get some goodies from Japan, sent from Japan, you guys know I love opening like those uh, food box, like subscription boxes and stuff that come from Japan, like Japan Crate or even like Kawaii Box. Those things are awesome because I want to be able to go there and be able to experience everything but it's so cool when people will send packages to me that have items from a different country in it because it's like I'm traveling there without actually traveling there and I don't know I just love it and it means a lot to me. But one of the items in here that makes me say that is this brochure, oh I'm holding it upside down, for the Tokyo Disney Resort and it is all in a different language I cannot read 
but it's so cool because it shows pictures of like the different snacks and foods and different pictures of like the hotels there it's just very fascinating and then when you open it up it's got a map of the whole park and I thought this was really cool because you guys know I love Disneyland in California here in the US and so this would be really cool to just like compare the maps and see what rides are similar that they have there or what they have different it's just really cool I'm such like a Disney park nerd. I want to visit all of the other ones. I've only been to Disneyland California and even just going to Disney World would be kind of cool but I can't really understand anything that is on this map but it doesn't really matter. Like I already see Space Mountain and I see like Thunder Mountain Railroad. Like I see the rides and Small World is like back here just like it is at ours and then oh my gosh it's just so cool to be able to see a picture and know what ride it is just because I'm so familiar with it here in the US. I mean I even see like the little Dumbo ride here. It's so cute. So I was really excited just to get this. <laughs> to some people this may seem like weird or lame because it's just like a brochure but to me like I said it's like visiting without actually going. It's so neat. So the bags in here are so cute. Here's a couple um, Disney store bags. This one has Chip and Dale on the front. And then these little cute bears on the back. Very cute. I love bags like that just to have as keepsakes. And then in here we have a little bag that is clear and it is like a Duffy bag. It says Disney. Oh, no, it doesn't. It says, oh, Oofafi? Oofafi? It doesn't say Duffy, it says Oofafi. Whatever that is, maybe it is like the type of whatever this is, but it is a little, this is so cool actually. There is a little Miss Bunny plush, and I think I've also seen these in the US, like they have a US version of them. They're not Tsum Tsums, they look similar, but they're like shaped differently. These are just like super cute and squishy. And then there's a little pouch in the butt right here. And it came with this little scented pack. This one says it is cherries. So you take this little scent pack that's in here and then you put it in the butt of the little animal or the little character and then you can just like set it on your desk or put it in your sock drawer or in a, just a dresser drawer or whatever and it's just supposed to act like a potpourri. Like it's just supposed to give like a nice little scent in the little area that it's in. So this is very cute. I'll probably put this in like one of my little dresser drawers or something or just keep the little plush sitting out on the shelf and then just put this little pack in my dresser drawer. Then that way I can still appreciate the little cuteness of the Miss Bunny there. And if you guys aren't familiar, Miss Bunny is the girl bunny from Bambi. So like Thumper's girlfriend, that is Miss Bunny. So there is that bag. Very cute. It has all different fruits on it. Okay, and then we have a few other bags here. These are so cute. Here is one of the Christmas 2017 bags. And this one had uh, like uh, washi tape on it, so I accidentally ripped it right here. But it's got Mickey and Minnie right there. And then it has Nemo and Friends on the back. And this is from Tokyo Disney Resort. There's the little stamp logo right there. And then in here, of course, you guys know Marie from the Aristocats is my ultimate favorite. So there is this adorable little coin purse right here. The bottom is pink and it's got Marie's little face on the front and then her neck bow on the back and then the little keychain is actually in the shape of a heart which I thought was such an adorable touch. Next we have this adorable Duffy and Stella Lou bag from Tokyo Disney Sea. So you can see Disney Sea right there. And there is little Stella Lou. I love Stella Lou, Duffy, Shelly Mae, Gelatoni. They're all so cute. Just like that line of characters is so precious to me. And I wish they carried more merch of them here uh, because they are just too precious. So in here is a very merry snow time in New York, which is funny because this is from Japan. But you can see the back has like all this stuff on here. I can't read, but on the front it just looks like so. Very cute. You could see Shelly Mae, Gelatoni, Stella Lou, Duffy, 
Look at Shelly Mae. She is me. Like, I love her so much. She's so precious. But in here are little candies. Oh, goodness. I hope they don't fall out. They are little Duffy candies. They're just individually wrapped, and they have little Duffies on them. And at first, I thought these were, like, after-dinner mints, but... Oh my gosh, you guys. Have you ever had like those Werther's like coffee caramel hard candies? That's the best equivalent I can make to something American is like those Werther's candies. But they are hard like coffee toffee. It's like a candy that you would like suck on rather than just bite into. They're so amazingly good. I love them so much. I had to resist not eating any more of them so I could show them to you guys. But the little tin is just so cute. I can reuse this for like q-tips or anything like makeup related. Very, very, very precious. Okay, and then the last little bag in here is another one of those Christmas ones. It has Dory on one side and then Mickey and Minnie on the other. And in here we have a Bambi collectible spoon. My mom collects these like crazy. So I'm actually gonna put this with her collection. So I know it'll be safe. I, I'm kind of contemplating even taking it out of the packaging though because it's so cute and special to me. But I love it. It's just got like Bambi right there and it's got like a, a big head and it just looks so cute. And then it's just a silver spoon. It's it's definitely more of a one of those collectible spoons rather than one that you actually use to eat with. I mean you could but it's more of a collector's item than anything. And then we have this Tokyo Disney Resort little kind of origami pack. And there are tons of different characters. Right up front is Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. And then there are other characters as well. We have Donald Duck. We have Pluto. This Lady in the Tramp one up here in the corner is like my favorite. It is so cute. Mickey and Minnie, Chip and Dale. We got some Monsters, Inc., Aladdin. And then it shows you these different things that you can make. Um, in front, the Winnie the Pooh and the Tigger one is already made. So it's like a little bow, but you can do like little origami paper items. There was also in the mailer was a Chip and Dale one kind of like taped to it. And it just kind of looks like this. So here's what one looks like so you guys can get an idea. That is what it looks like. So you can make cute little origami things to send to your friends. And I think that is everything that was in this little mystery package. I was so excited about everything when I was opening it up. I love mystery packages like this because it's like you're going through an actual like website based kind of small brand or small company that's a little bit more personable because they are by themselves you know and they created this and they put in their individual effort to go and purchase these items put them in these packages and send them out to you just the fact that you're getting something unique and not every package is the same as another is really cool to me it makes it kind of personal and it gives it an extra little touch i really do love this package so much uh he did offer to send me another one possibly in the future so I think I will do that and next time I will wait I will wait for you guys and I will open it on camera I kind of regret opening it early because I wanted to like record my true reactions and stuff but overall it was just a really good package to open and it did brighten up my day that was very 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 dreary and gloomy so always keep that in mind if you guys are having a very bad day try to do something to lift your mood even if you don't feel like it try doing it anyway whether it means maybe opening a package that you got in the mail that you don't want to open just yet and you know you shouldn't but you do anyway because you know it'll brighten your mood do it <laughs> as long as you're not hurting anyone in the process and you know that it might lift your mood later on why not you know eat that bowl of ice cream if you want it you know feel better i suffer from seasonal depression so i try not to let myself slump too far I often do things or eat things or <laughs> um, just open packages that make me happy during this time of year because it's like a very kind of blah time of year for me. So always keep that in mind. Just do stuff that makes you happy and try not to get down too much. I know life sucks and things can get really hard. Trust me, I know. I've been there. But uh, just... Always look on the bright side if you can. There is always a bright side to every situation. There is always something positive. You just have to be willing to take on that mindset. 
anyway with that I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you all in my next video I hope you all enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget you can use my coupon code I'll flash it across the screen one more time on the website that I will link down below to get yourself one of these mystery boxes and to get five dollars off of it so thank you again so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye